What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego Guy here and today we're doing another one of the exclusive uh, Lego magazines that we can't get in North America. So this one's pretty cool. It's DC obviously. It includes a Joker which is actually pretty cool or the Joker I should say and uh, yeah really cool little um, basically uh, exclusive Lego magazine. Uh, really like these. Really wish we got them in North America and I thought you guys would like to see them as well. What's interesting is this goes for about 79 pesos, which is about a little over four US or about five Canadians. So not a not a bad deal actually, especially since you get the minifig. But anyways, I uh, can't wait to get into this, but enough talk, let's get right into it. All right, so to begin, uh, you know what, that's, uh, let's take a look at the little minifig that's included, right? So let's just open her up, see what it's what's inside. So to do that, you just open this. This is actually my first DC magazine, and the second time I've got one of these exclusive magazines, I actually got these ones in Mexico. They do them in Europe, and in Mexico, to my knowledge, uh, I think South America, I'm not sure about some, some of the other locations. It is sticky, so I don't really like that it's getting that all over the pieces. Yeah, and I thought you guys would enjoy this. Just something different, because if you're in Canada or the States, we don't get these, unfortunately, which absolutely sucks. So there is no instruction uh, manual that comes along with it, which makes sense, because it's such a small little build. But nonetheless, I actually don't have the Joker, so I'm happy to get him. What's really cool about this, too, is, as you guys can see, he has two faces. So you're here... And there, so that's pretty cool. They, they actually incorporated that. A lot of detail in this little minifig. Um, let me, let me, if you guys know where this guy comes from, I think he's in the Batmobile, to be perfectly honest. I don't think he's that exclusive of a minifig, but still pretty cool. And let's put his little hammer together. The Joker always has such ridiculous um, <laughs> weapons. Uh, and then he has a stick of dynamite, because you know he's the Joker. That's, that's what you need. So let's just put this all together. And there you guys go. So pretty cool looking little minifig. I am happy to get him. That's what I love about these. I mean, if you're a kid and you just want a minifig, well, here you are. Basically, it's a CMF price for US, a little bit less. And you got the Joker. So honestly, awesome. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of detail in this little guy. Let's just uh, give you a little bit more close up look. So here he is. Normally I do this on my uh, review stand for minifigs, but I thought that this works. Just a little bit more casual way of doing it. Anyways, great looking minifig. Let's now get into the magazine. If I can stand this guy up with his massive hammer. There he is. Readjust the camera. So yeah, so right off the bat, here's the front page. This is all in Spanish. It's basically just a comic book, but nonetheless, uh, it gives you guys a good idea what's in there. I mean, there's lots of pictures as well, and I speak a little bit of Spanish. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I will answer what it says. So very, very cool. Oh, there's the instruction booklet. Look at, we, we figured it out without the instructions. But then it also centers in that he's two faces. So pretty cool. I'm um, moving on, as you guys can see, there is a comic little strip here. Wow, even uh, cat, um, Wonder Woman's in this. Very, very cool. <laughs> I did not expect that. Uh, I guess it's DC. Oh, there's Superman in here as well. And then they are uh, centering on a couple more of the sets. Here's the Batwing. And I think that that almost looks like Sandman, although that's a Spider-Man villain. Oh, there's Robin. Pretty cool looking little magazine. I mean, I wish we got this in North America. It's so frustrating that we don't. And then they got some mazes in here. There's uh, Jim Gordon. If you guys never seen Gotham, definitely watch Gotham. Absolutely love that series. And they got some more stuff. Batman and the Joker. I, I wonder if this is a poster. A lot of times these little things give you posters. These just look like big pictures, but... You know what, if you're a kid, you could cut them out, 
and make them uh, a poster. And they got some more games. There's Harley Quinn. The Harley Quinn movie apparently didn't do too well. Here's some more uh, stuff centering on the Batwing. And some more of the comic strip. Joker's going crazy with his big hammer. Yeah, this is really cool that they actually do this. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get an English one and I'll read it for you guys. Although that would probably take too long. That's why I'm kind of just wanting to do it like this. Here's a couple. I, that doesn't look like much of a maze. <laughs> You'd have to be a pretty dumb person if you to not figure that one out. Uh, yeah, here Keep moving on. Yeah, and there you guys go. So that's kind of what these magazines are all about. It's just a nice little short magazine. I, I did appreciate this where they, I don't know why they didn't, they could have made this a little bit better um, if they had different superheroes instead of doubling them up every second one, but still kind of cool little picture. But yeah, that pretty well does this uh, little review of another magazine. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys like these episodes? Do you not? Uh, if there's possibly any that you'd like me to get into, whether it be City, Star Wars, Ninjago, kind of picked up a wide variety when I was in Mexico. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future exclusive LEGO, means, LEGO magazines I do on this channel. I do enjoy doing them. It's something different. And I think that's just awesome. I mean, look at this minifig. It's like the same price of a CMF and you get basically whoever you want. So I mean, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, again, that's all I got for you again, but take care and I'll catch you on the next one.